Bacon fried corn or barbecue bacon fried corn. It is simply delicious. I've seen it all over the internet. Todd's done it. CJ's done his version with pancetta. Now we're doing Big Puffin's version of bacon fried corn. First, let's cut up our bacon. Now what I do is I keep the bacon frozen um, or just a little bit cold because it's easier to cut. So we're gonna pull this out here. We're gonna get that, it's about 12 ounces of bacon. We use the pecan apple bacon and we're gonna chop it up for our cook. So it's a little thick here. I'm gonna split it into two so we make it nice and easier to cut. So lengthwise um, is the way I do it. So real, get a nice sharp knife here and just cut it lengthwise. So just don't cut your hand off, which happens sometimes. Good things I have both my hands. So cut it down in strips and then to make it easier, I just pull it apart and then I'll cut it up into slices from here. Real neat, easy cuts and just kind of cook down on it. And this is why I try to get mine a little bit frozen if I know I'm going to be cooking it that day. Because like I said, it's so much easier to cook. Bacon fried, bacon fried corn is such a good meal in the summer. You can do a lot of different things with it. I know Todd does it with lime, a little bit kind of like a, a hot hot corn with hot Cheetos. Mine's going to be different with bacon and corn as the same thing, but we're going to add in um, barbecue chips at the end. We're going to do barbecue flavors with some barbecue sauce. Our bacon goes on first. Put that on the left side. Put it right here. Get that all mixed in. I'm going to... We're going to use the bacon grease to cook in the corn, hence bacon fried corn. But on a different side, I'm gonna do on the right side here, I'm gonna put my onions. I like a little, I like onions in my bacon fried corn. So I got our chopped up onions. We got two sides going. We got our onions and we got our bacon. We're gonna let those cook up and then we're gonna add in our other flavors and our seasoning and everything like that. But first bacon, then the onion. Let that cook for a little while and then we'll add in our corn. We don't want our corn to get mushy. But, and temperatures on this, guys, you're gonna do medium heat. I get asked that all the time. Medium heat on the Blackstone griddle. We're gonna go like halfway between, you know, hot, super searing hot and low. That's what you wanna do here. You can use a temp gun. I don't use a temp gun, uh, but just pay attention to it. Let your bacon cook for a while before you add in your corn because you want that crunch with your corn. Bacon's crispy. Time to add the corn. I'm gonna put right here. I just, do, I just use an easy um, bag of uh, bird's eye gold here, baby gold and white. So it's simple, the small, easy bag. Do not use cream of corn out of a can. I would not recommend that. But we're getting crispy there. We got our onions right here. And we're going we want that crunch, like I said. So we're gonna combine these over here in just a minute. And we're getting close to being done. We gotta add seasoning, we gotta add a few more things, but we're almost done. This is a quick, easy recipe. You can do this for an entree, you can do it for lunch, you can do it for a snack. Uh, but graduation parties, things that are going on right now, anybody would love it. I'm gonna combine these now, these nice over. We still want that bacon grease, that bacon flavor mixed in with all of this. So we're gonna get all that mixed in. Those onions are still gonna cook. And these things taste, these things taste great. I've tried Todd's normal way. I've tried CJ's pancetta way. They both taste great. I just wanted to go with something a little bit more backyard barbecue, big puffin style corn here. And uh, plus, come on, let's just be real. Anything goes good with bacon. So we're gonna combine those. New seasoning to try. We're gonna do the IPA beer rub into our barbecue bacon fried corn. So got this at the local grocer. I saw, I've tried it on other things. I was like, wait a second. We're gonna add this flavor into our bacon fried corn. Cause who doesn't love beer? Who doesn't love corn? And who doesn't love bacon? Let's just put them all together. Get that nice and drenched in there. Good flavoring. And then we're going to mix it all up. The good seasoning on here. You can use any seasoning you want. I'm going to use this IPA beer rub because it's summertime. I don't know about you. I like to crack a beer in the summer. It's hot outside. I'm not a big beer drinker, but in the summer, it's definitely time. It's definitely time. I don't drink water. Who drinks water? Water's for losers. There's no losers on this channel. Barbecue sauce time. I like the famous Dave's zesty so good i'm gonna sprinkle this on top as well get that nice and drizzled and then i told you before which we're going to put in our cilantro like you got to have the cilantro it's a good mix at the end there good flavor add it at the end 
And then one more mix, and then we will get this off, and we will plate it up. Look at that. Perfect. Things coming together nicely. And we don't want it to cook too long because, like I said, you want that corn still crunchy. You don't want it all mushy. Nobody likes mushy corn. No, no, no. Let me use my Blackstone shovel. This thing is done. Let's get this oaf in our bowl here. I'm going to serve her up. I'm going to use a different kind of chip because it's barbecue. We're doing barbecue style. So we got to use different kind of chips. And we use this. I know there's been, you know, people use. People use the Cheetos. I've seen a bunch of different ways, but we're gonna use a different one. So let's get this plated up. Okay, the way I structure it is a couple of different ways. So we're gonna take scoops out of here and we're gonna put it in our plastic. Okay, yep, another scoop. So I do two scoops each cup. But we're gonna layer it a little different on mine. So two scoops each cup. Then we are going, that one needs a third scoop because I didn't get, not get a full scoop there. Then we're gonna take Barbecue chips. And that's where mine's a little different. So for the family today, I'm gonna take barbecue chips because I want a little bit of that barbecue flavor and we're gonna crunch them right into the cup on each of these. It's gonna taste amazing. So we take another one, crunch, that big one in there. And then we take another one and crunch it in there. Then we take the rest of our corn and our bacon and we're gonna put it on top of that. There we go. Top it off. I like a different layer because I want the crunch and I want the bacon. I want I want multiple multiple bites of different things. I don't I don't I want it to switch it up. So so we got that layer and then there's more. Then we take our cheese here and we're our queso fresco and we're gonna crumble that. Just it's easy crumble, as you can see, it crumbles in my hand. We're gonna crumble that right on top as well. Get that in there. Mmm. And you might think we're done. We're not done. No, we're not done. A little bit more cheese on this last one, because there's always room for more cheese. But no, we're gonna do a little more, one more layer of chips in each one. So crump them up, crump them up. I'll pull the last one. We're making a mess, but if you're not making a mess, you're not having fun. Pump them up. They're all good to go. I like to do a nice little drizzle of barbecue sauce right on top of the chips too, and that cochita, or the queso fresco cheese. So we're gonna dribble, dribble there. A couple drops on top. And then you're gonna take that with a fork, and you're gonna eat it up, and everybody's gonna love it. But that is my version of Big Puffin's bacon fried corn. We got chips, barbecue, we got bacon, we got corn, we got IPA, beer, flavor, we got it all. So next thing to do is to eat. Next thing to do is eat it up. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, you got that crunch in there. Mmm, that's so good. If you like recipes like this, go ahead and click or touch the screen now. I'll catch you in the next cook.